Dr. Marcus Green, an experienced veterinarian, held a trove of career memories. But Lola, the pregnant chocolate Labrador retriever, occupied a unique place. Her childbirth experience was unusual, especially for a first-time mother, but it was the startling aftermath that left Dr. Marcus in disbelief. Over decades of practice, Lola's case remained an unforgettable anomaly, a testament to the surprises and challenges that defined his long and storied veterinary career. Lola's litter had left Dr. Marcus Green baffled from its size and the sex distribution to the color of their fur. Little did he know that the true marvel would emerge when he checked on Lola's puppies. It was then that he would discover something so astonishing that even the most seasoned experts would be left in sheer disbelief. Dr. Marcus Green remained incredulous, struggling to comprehend the seemingly impossible. He felt an urgent need to uncover the truth. It couldn't merely be a miraculous coincidence. If it wasn't solely a miracle, what enigmatic secret was Dr. Marcus on the verge of unveiling? What made Lola's birthing experience so exceptionally distinct and intriguing? The question loomed, how would the future of these puppies unfold? From a tender age, Dr. Marcus Green harbored a deep love for animals, which ultimately led him to pursue a career as a veterinarian. He found immense joy in caring for these gentle creatures. On one seemingly ordinary morning, as he perused patient charts, little did he know that the next case to arrive would completely upend his life as a vet. Dr. Marcus's contemplations were abruptly halted by the hastened footsteps and anxious whispers that echoed through the clinic. When he glanced up, Mrs. Thompson burst into the room, her countenance a mixture of hope and apprehension, accompanied by Lola, her cherished chocolate Labrador retriever. The sight of Marcus elicited soft, anxious whines from Lola. Observing the panting and whining dog, Marcus sprang to his feet. He recognized Lola from her recent routine checkup, a dog he had grown fond of. But her usual playfulness had given way to evident unease. Time was of the essence. It was clear that Lola was teetering on the brink of labor. Marcus knew he had to act swiftly. He guided Mrs. Thompson and Lola into the examination chamber. As he readied himself to provide support during the delivery, he held on to the hope that today would mark the beginning of a new and joyous chapter in both Lola's and Mrs. Thompson's lives. Little did he realize that this was just the start of everything. Observing Mrs. Thompson's anxious demeanor, Marcus approached her. Mrs. Thompson, he began, I can see you're concerned, but I require your help. If Lola sees that you're composed, it will also help put her at ease, he explained. Mrs. Thompson listened attentively as she gently stroked Lola, who began to relax, a crucial step for what lay ahead. Working together, they gingerly assisted Lola onto the cushioned table, ensuring her comfort. As Marcus gently passed his hand over Lola's noticeably enlarged abdomen, he couldn't help but notice the striking difference. She had grown considerably. At that very moment, he realized that it was about to occur. Still detecting a hint of concern in Mrs. Thompson's eyes, Marcus reassured her, saying, considering her size, it appears she will have a significant number of pups. However, please rest assured, we will provide the highest level of care for her. With your help, my assistant, and myself, we will ensure that she goes through this process smoothly. Marcus took pride in the foresight of educating Mrs. Thompson about identifying signs of labor in dogs. In this critical moment, the profound importance of that knowledge shone through. It was clear that Lola would have faced significant challenges during childbirth without their guidance, emphasizing the crucial role their expertise played in this situation. He still observed Lola's uneasiness, particularly since she was a first-time mother. Once more, Marcus addressed Mrs. Thompson, speaking with a gentle tone. Mrs. Thompson, he began, 
Lola's anxiety could potentially make the labor more challenging. She needs a soothing and familiar presence. Would you be willing to talk to her and offer some comfort by petting her? I believe it would greatly calm her nerves, he asked, and he would later be grateful that he did. Hours passed, and with the assistance of his colleague and Mrs. Thompson, Marcus aided Lola through the birthing process. The significant size of Lola's belly had not been in vain, as Marcus counted a remarkable dozen puppies. Such a large litter was almost unheard of and a rare sight for him. However, upon closer examination, he discovered something even more astonishing. Among the twelve puppies, there were six males and six females. Such a large and perfectly balanced litter was nothing short of astonishing, particularly for a first-time mother like Lola. While five to ten puppies were considered the standard, a family of twelve was truly remarkable. However, little did Dr. Marcus know that this litter would later bring him the shock of a lifetime. Dr. Marcus whispered words of praise to Lola while tenderly caressing her glossy coat. The room was filled with a sense of euphoria. However, the jubilant atmosphere abruptly shifted to one of shock and concern when Dr. Marcus and his assistant began to inspect all the puppies. They couldn't shake the feeling that they had overlooked something, and their hearts sank as they made a horrific discovery. Each puppy was a testament to the wonders of life, with every tiny heartbeat carrying a rhythm of hope. As he moved from one wriggling bundle to the next, Marcus's trained eyes detected a devastating anomaly. Unlike her siblings, who were entangled in a flurry of activity, this one lay completely motionless. A stillborn puppy, while not entirely uncommon, remained a heart-wrenching sight to behold. The room, which had been filled with joy, was now shrouded in a heavy silence, broken only by Mrs. Thompson's sobs. Oh no, not my poor Lola's baby, she lamented. Although despair hung in the air, Dr. Marcus was resolute in his determination. He wouldn't give up until that little pup was alive and breathing once more. Marcus hurried to the puppy's side, and each passing moment felt like an eternity as he worked tirelessly to resuscitate her. The room was fraught with tension and Mrs. Thompson silently prayed for Mr. Marcus Green to succeed. As time ticked away, hope began to wane, but then Lola did something to assist Marcus. Witnessing the doctor's efforts to save her offspring, Lola mustered her strength. Her legs trembled as she emitted soft whines towards her new daughter. Carefully, she maneuvered herself between her litter, orchestrating them with precision. Her nose tenderly touched her motionless pup as Dr. Marcus continued his determined work to bring the tiny life back to the land of the living. In that tense moment, a gasp filled the room. With a burst of newfound energy, the tiny pup took a shaky, gasping breath. When Lola witnessed the pup coming back to life, wriggling between her siblings, she wearily decided to lay down once more allowing her new offspring to feed from her. The pup, filled with renewed vigor, began emitting soft whines. Her mother promptly responded with gentle licks and affectionate nudges, bonding with her revived pup. Now that every puppy was alive and well, the true diversity of their colors became apparent. Among them were four chocolate, one silver, two champagne yellow, one traditional yellow, and three black puppies. Dr. Marcus realized that this was an extraordinary color mix, but when he later discovered the reason behind it, he was genuinely shocked. It's not every day we witness such a beautifully diverse litter, Dr. Marcus said, smiling at Mrs. Thompson. He couldn't help but find the litter extraordinary. Although he had a nagging feeling that he was overlooking something important, he couldn't pinpoint what it was. Determined to keep a close eye on them, he offered to check on the pups in the coming days and weeks. Several days had elapsed since that eventful day at the clinic. Dr. Marcus Green hadn't seen such a large, healthy litter in quite some time, and he was pleased that all the little pups had been thriving during his initial post-birth examination. 
Unbeknownst to him, a visit to Mrs. Thompson's would soon lead to a remarkable discovery. A significant milestone was approaching. The puppies would soon open their eyes and experience the world for the very first time. Knowing that this momentous event was near, Dr. Marcus Green decided to give Mrs. Thompson a call, hoping to arrange a visit to see Lola and the puppies. However, the conversation over the phone left him bewildered as Mrs. Thompson relayed surprising information. Of course, you can come by, doctor. Mrs. Thompson cheerfully exclaimed. Dr. Green was perplexed by this news. It seemed that half of the litter had opened their eyes too soon, while the other half was opening theirs later than expected. Determined to verify this unusual situation, he knew he had to see it for himself. Upon his arrival, Dr. Green was greeted by a heartwarming scene. Despite her large litter, Lola took her role as a mother very seriously, tenderly nursing a portion of her pups and caring for them with gentle licks and affectionate nudges. Mrs. Thompson was supervising the more adventurous pups, but together with the doctor, they would make a discovery that would shed light on the mystery of the puppy's varied eye opening times. Floors Mrs. Thompson was looking after were taking wobbly steps. They all seemed to be in good health and spirits, Dr. Marcus commented to Mrs. Thompson. She smiled and replied, I know, right? You should see, little miracle. She has certainly made some progress. She was one of the first to open her eyes, Mrs. Thompson exclaimed. However, Dr. Marcus gasped in surprise when he picked up Miracle. As Dr. Marcus Green held the small pup in his hands, he remained puzzled by Mrs. Thompson's claim that she had been the first to open her eyes. He examined the puppy, taking in her rich chocolate brown coat and the striking white mismark on her chest upon closer inspection. However, he had no inkling of the extraordinary revelation about what Miracle truly was. Dr. Marcus gently tilted Miracle's head, letting the sunlight illuminate the puppy's eyes. One eye was a deep, dark brown, a common shade for Labradors. But the other eye, it shone in azure blue, a stark contrast to its companion. Heterochromia was exceedingly rare in Labradors, which piqued Marcus's curiosity. He whispered to Mrs. Thompson, do any of the other puppies have this condition? Mrs. Thompson delicately held up another pup. Meet Destiny. To Dr. Marcus's surprise, Destiny also possessed the same mismatched eyes, one deep brown and the other a striking blue. It appears that Destiny and Miracle share a unique bond beyond simply being siblings, Mrs. Thompson mused, her voice filled with wonder. Dr. Marcus gently stroked Destiny's head, contemplating the genetic implications of this remarkable occurrence. As Marcus observed the two puppies side by side, it wasn't just their eyes that stood out. They both had an unusual curl to their tails and sported a thick tuft of white fur on their left paws. Additionally, they shared a peculiar white marking behind their ears. Mrs. Thompson remarked, it's as if they have their own secret language expressed through these unique markings. Marcus sank deep into thought. He had dedicated years to studying Labradors and was well versed in the breed's typical characteristics. While chocolate coats were not uncommon, these specific traits were exceptionally rare. Heterochromia, white mismarks, and the slight curl in their tails were all unusual and unique. The rarity of these characteristics led Marcus to believe that there was a distinct genetic foundation that remained to be understood and explored. Recognizing the complexity of the situation, Marcus proposed a more extensive array of tests. There have been significant advances in genetic testing that may provide us with more detailed insights, he suggested. Mrs. Thompson, though anxious, wholeheartedly agreed. She sought clarity not only for her own peace of mind, but also for the well-being of Miracle, Destiny, and their siblings. With this decision, the next steps were set in motion, ushering in a new chapter of investigation and discovery. The wheels of scientific inquiry turned, 
and as each day passed, anticipation grew. In the laboratory, machines whirred, meticulously analyzing samples. Meanwhile, Marcus and Mrs. Thompson were engaged in a dance of patience and anxiety. The waiting period was marked by shared hopes and unspoken fears, filling the silence. They both understood that the forthcoming results would be a pivotal moment in their ongoing journey. Die are der Wissenschaftliche, Forschung, Dreften, Sitch und mit Jidem, Verge Hinden, Tag Watts, Die Spanum. Carefully opening the envelope, Marcus's eyes swiftly scanned the report. What he discovered was both astonishing and intriguing. The DNA results unveiled the presence of two distinct paternal lines, a rare phenomenon that strongly hinted at the possibility of dual sires. Marcus leaned back, taking a moment to fully grasp the implications of this information. This discovery could be the crucial clue to unraveling the unique genetic composition of the litter. As Dr. Marcus Green contemplated the revelation of dual paternal DNA, he recalled a conversation with Mrs. Thompson. She had casually mentioned that Lola, the mother Labrador, had briefly gone missing from home some time ago. Could it be that during that absence, Lola had mated with two different males? The pieces of the puzzle started to fall into place, and the picture became increasingly clear in Marcus's mind. The more he thought about it, the more it made sense. While incredibly rare, it was possible for a dog to conceive twice within a short window, resulting in two litters gestating simultaneously. This phenomenon, known as superfetation, although largely unheard of in dogs, seemed to explain the disparities among the puppies. Lola had indeed given birth to two separate litters in one go. Binding bonds through beautiful tales. Thank you for watching.